never say goodbye at the end of this show because it's never. one continuous party. But this will be the first time I'll say the fly jock has landed. After decades on the radio, legendary host Tom Joyner steps away from the microphone. He is known as the fly jock, and today he signed off for the final time, but not before sitting down with CBS's Jerika Duncan. Now it's time for the celebrities. Tom Joyner keeps his listeners laughing and learning. Barbara Hillary. The first black woman to stand on both the North and South Poles. Our thing has always been to empower people, but to empower, we have to first entertain. If I've got you laughing, I've got you listening. His nationally syndicated radio show hit the airwaves in 1994 with a certain audience in mind. We do a show for, for African Americans. That's what we do. Joyner says super serving the African American community has been the secret to his success. Don't worry about crossover. Just super serve, super serve, super serve. Anything that affects African Americans, that's what you do. Just worry about connecting to people and their needs. He was born and raised in Tuskegee, Alabama, one of many cities that helped shape the civil rights movement. I'm out there protesting the fact that our radio station in this all-black town didn't play any black music. And this guy who owned the radio station, which was inside a Ford dealership, came out and said, I don't need this. I'm trying to really sell some cars. Tell you what, it's a sun-up to sundown station. Every Saturday, I'll let one of you play all the Aretha and the Temptations that you want. That's how it started. That's how it started. By the mid-1980s, Joyner earned the nickname Fly Jock. That's because he was offered two jobs and took both, flying between Dallas, where he did a morning show, and Chicago, where he was on air in the afternoons. How did you do that for eight years, though? Greed. Greed. <laughs> Celebrities, including Oprah Winfrey, have Good been morning. calling in to congratulate Joyner on his retirement. Congratulations. What's the next chapter? I'm just going to be concentrating on raising money and putting, putting it in the hands of college students to, to help their tuition uh, at historically black colleges. That's my goal. And some of the other celebrities who called in this morning to say goodbye, Jennifer Hudson, Ice Cube, and Chris Rock, among many others. But honesty, always his key always. to success. That's why he kept it real for so long. Greed. <laughs> I loved that. Hey, you know what? It's he got true. it going. Right. All right.